Yes. And we have black, which is all good. All right, we're in game. First game of the day, first game of the stream. Um, we're playing against QXYZPK, who we had two very exciting games against last week. Ooh. Okay, so we got some spicy E3 shenanigans. Um, I think we'll go Knight F6. Uh, oh, E3 F4! Oh my god! This is so exciting! I've never played against E3 F4. Oh my god! Okay, I suspect that this is terrible, but I don't know. Um, in chat, one of them appears to be on the Discord already. Oh, that's great. By the way, I have new biblical whale pun today. Lay it on me, man. What you got? How's it going? Uh, Mathfridge is here. I love the anti-castle travel game you posted on YouTube. Yeah, this is actually the same opponent. Um, so they're, they're back. They're back for a rematch. So very exciting. Uh, how's it going, Mathfridge? I feel like it's been a little while since I've seen you. Whale, then? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Our opponent is playing really quickly. Uh, Sonoy's whale pun is going to have to wait just a little bit. Here, we have a very important decision to make. Do we move out with the knight? Or with the queen? Certainly, the pawn is a terrible idea. Uh, we would immediately lose to queen a4. And then when b5 happens, uh, or bishop c7, or... Queen d7, uh, of course, bishop b5 immediately uh, wins the game for our opponent. Um, so that's not good. Uh, well, if b5 happened, it would just be queen takes b5. But um, So do we take with the queen or with the knight? <sighs> uh, the queen early could be cumbersome because um, it's always annoying when you get the queen out early and then this knight just kicks it away immediately. Um, uh, and I do enjoy the idea of it's probably going to be difficult for him to find a fantastic trial here. I mean, putting pressure on this. No, we, we do this. Uh, and then if knight out here, we probably push this pawn, threaten immediate mate. Um, I think that we take with the knight here. All right, Ahab was visiting Jerusalem. He kept trying to shoot Moby Dick from there. But it's so far inland he couldn't reach the sea with his harpoon, so he ordered the construction of a great rampart to give him a height advantage. And to this very day, it is known as the Wailing Wall. Oh my god, get the fuck out of my chat, Sonoy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on, guy. <laughs> uh, Permaban? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. Uh, on that note, there's a good question here. Do we threaten mate, immediately place pressure? We do this if takes. Uh, I mean, there is a bit of an issue in that we can't actually recapture with... Uh, okay, we do this, and he can't immediately takes. Uh, and the reason for that... But then our bishop's trapped. Do we just develop our bishop? Okay. Generally, when this sort of thing happens, a lot of undue pressure on f7, um, I like to play bishop e6. The only issue is that then this queen is kind of stuck back here, um, which isn't the biggest deal, but I was really looking forward to threatening mate in one and forcing a response to this. Well, here's the thing. If we do this now, it traps our bishop in, yes. And that is bad, yes. But simultaneously, he has to respond to this. Probably he'll just play a g3. Uh, and then we're kind of annoyed with ourselves for letting this ever happen, right? Um, the alternative is that we could play bishop out here. We're kind of forced into frappuccinoing if we play with the, the bishop e6. And it's hard to get our queen out, especially with... But we, f7 needs an extra defender. And if this and then takes, then we're going to play the queen out. And then it gets kicked. Um, and it's difficult to reposition. Uh, so... There are a few serious questions here. Um, 
that need answers. Certainly, this is the safest approach. This does force. What can we do after this? One way it's difficult to develop this bishop. The other way it's difficult to develop this bishop. Um, you know what? This is unfamiliar territory, and it feels like structurally this should be good enough for us anyway that I don't feel bad playing safe here. Uh, I think that that's the... I mean, I did lose a lot of time on that move, but um, I feel like this is a safe way. Oh, wow. Uh, that's interesting. Now I'm a bit confuzzled. Now the question is, do we take with the queen or the bishop? The thing is, g2 is going to get murked in a second here. I think we take with the queen. Because um, if, like, the queen mobilizes... First of all, something's got to mobilize to defend g2. Uh, okay. That's not the worst. Okay. Queen out it is. I feel probably decent trading queens, no? Actually, I probably don't want to trade queens. Um, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? So, queen out, and then we pin the knight to the pawn, where's the rook move? Not the most exciting. We can threaten mate here. Um, always an option. Is there a way that we can do that and also, let's think. Hmm. What's our opponent's plan? This seems, I mean, it's a great novelty, but let's think critically. We, in some sense, we afford our opponents not, this bishop is going to be stuck here for ages, it feels like. That can't possibly be good for our opponent, right? If we do this, then what happens? The knight pops out, uh, or he completely wastes a move. Alternatively, the knight can develop to e2, um, so it doesn't look like that's a fantastic game plan. But what we can do is then threaten with the bishop, the queen. We can kick that queen around, and f7 is defended, uh, and then we can develop our knight. Maybe this feels ill-advised. Especially because we can't... Okay, if queen here and then knight c3, then... We can't exactly um, pull the bishop over immediately. The thing is, I feel like I really want to keep a queen to be able to take advantage of the positional instability that's been introduced by the early f4. Um, the other thing that we could do is let him come to us. We could do one of these, preparing... Uh, actually bishop g4 um, and then if takes then we take and we threaten here maybe put pressure on there and we don't have too much to worry about in terms of f7 you know what my gut's telling me that h5 here is the play I know it sounds absolutely insane but I really like this idea and the, I, the reason is that I remember if we can uh, skewer this queen to achieve a Tchaikovsky, I'll actually be very happy. In this case, I think that this behooves us. Our opponent wasted the Tempe. Um, this knight is now uh, somewhat stuck. 
we can probably crack open the position here with we can okay we can either develop our knight um f7 is already defended so we don't have too much to worry about there we want to activate our bishop as soon as possible um we could damage his structure um actually i kind of like the idea of sacking this here and then after takes just pushing here or something like that we could just feed in keto um both are options uh we could also develop the knight is that is that is that the most sensible play i think it is i think it is no need to rush it's going to be easy for us to crack this open i think now his knight can't come out here too easily okay all right i see what you're i see what you're on about i see you what rook f2 does is it does really pin this knight to this pawn now uh honestly i think that that's the sensible move um Yeah, I think that's probably the sensible move. The thing is that we could take here and then after the trade back, push out here. Now we sort of fix his structure for him though after we damaged it. Hmm. We're a bit low on time. Might want to frappuccino this bishop. Yeah, why not? Get rid of the kingside threat. Damage his structure. Now it's a little bit awkward. Not the end of the world for him, if I'm quite honest. But um, I do want to fianchetto my bishop. And also, these squares are already taken away from my opponent. Uh, let's just fianchetto now. It's going to be difficult for him to get to f7. This week, I actually, for the first time in a very long time, played a decent amount of 2D chess. Interesting. I don't know that that's particularly spooky, um, but it does kind of make me want to swing my rook over. Um... I think we'll just do one of these. I think we'll just do one of these. This bishop is going to have a hard time getting active here, but I mean, with the queens off the board, um, and okay, we've got same color bishops here. Um, I'm not quite sure what to think of this game so far. Uh, Dave says, hey, Smet, have you ever tried GeoGuessr? I think you'd be good at the country guess one. You're already an expert at flagging womp womp okay <laughs> dave i am yeah I've, I've played a little bit of geoguesser with um with benny and uh with benny and ian with the gang um i enjoy geoguesser i'm not very good <laughs> ghxx is here oh hello there mage as well as going mage andre's here also cement will never have a problem with traveling <sighs> he can always flag a car down oh it pains me Hello there, says Void. I lost to a beginner. We've all lost to a beginner. <laughs> it happens, man. Um, there are plenty of, it seems like there's a bit of an influx of um, new, you know, fre fresh blood into the community, which is incredibly exciting. Uh, but it also seems like um, they're like they're no joke, uh, like they really know what's going on. So um, sort of pleasantly surprised by that, um, but also means that, you know, uh, that... that we can't we can't be slouching you know um that we have to stay on top of our game otherwise we're we're gonna get pushed out by uh by all the all the new guys crazy's here too crazy void welcome to you both okay so he's already trying to crack open the structure interesting hmm all right well I wanted to lift my rook anyway, so uh, now's as good a time as any, I think, to just do that. Um, 
We have this check, but I don't know uh, what my plan is post check. Um, I've been playing a little bit too much 2D, so I need to get into the 5D mindset for sure. Uh, although immediately, you know, this is a game where we've got a lot of, I need to grab this half open file. That's for goddamn sure. Um, but I need to, I need to, I need to focus. I really do. Chat's popping. More whale puns, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't recommend GeoGuessr though. There's a crowdfunded version called Geotastic where you don't have to pay to play online. Oh, that's fantastic. Good shout. Um, thanks for the tip. How, 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 how does he kick this knight? Uh, we can just pull the rook over. That's going to be a pain in his ass. Yeah. So I don't mind that very much at all. right whoa we just take it also by pushing this pawn um he's allowed us to sack here to kind of open this up a little bit i'm not positive whether or not that behooves me uh, in truth. Okay, that I think is a good move. Um, but what it does now is doesn't this give me does this give me travel opportunities? Alright, hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. This knight's also now, well, it's not pinned because it's got the, but we've got the two pieces staring down the, hmm. Okay, but I do have to be careful because this, this bishop is x-raying my whole situation here. I also really have to use the bathroom. Everything's happening at once. This is so eventful. Okay. Yeah, this means that we can, okay. So where, how, how and where do we apply pressure here? Um, love to get my other rook into the game. It's a little stuck. King over to defend the bishop doesn't feel fantastic. You know, it's gonna sound a, maybe a bit crazy, but we could always push this pawn. And then swing over the rook that way. Uh, now giving up that feels like we're giving up a lot if we just do it straight up. So we could play the bishop first before we push, which also prevents this pawn from being any more of a thorn in my side, but, uh, that's a bit of an issue because if we play bishop out and then we push, um, then that's a problem because our bishop is blocking the rook also there's gonna be a fossil now if uh if and when this knight moves out um and i very much don't appreciate that uh so if this knight moves out then we take and then takes and then i mean we still trade one for one but if this knight can maybe do something annoying Okay, hold on, hold on. What are our plays? If we... Travel two turns in the past doesn't actually do anything right now. Does it? Here, only legal move is takes. And if we could recapture, that would be a beautiful Tchaikovsky type of situation but i don't think we have that available there should be we should be able to do something here no
The other thing is that here actually threatens mate here. So maybe that's difficult for our opponent to answer. If we do this, then rook up. But then the rook's like kind of pinned. Uh, what else can we make happen from there? Am I thinking too narrowly? Getting this bishop under this corner does give us some amount of flexibility, but then where does it travel? I, I, I really feel a painful amount of 2D rust right now I mean threatening made in one can't be bad right push this pawn uh, and then takes is probably quite good if um, takes with check granted it's 2d check I, I really want to do this, but I don't have a fantastic tactical reason. It just feels like this is a good move. Like centralizing my bishop for some reason feels like it will unlock possibilities. Uh, and we also threaten maiden one if our opponent misses it. Um, okay, that's what we expected. For some reason, I know this is not quite the cutting edge gameplay. Uh, that you guys are here for, but. Okay. Feels like I've somehow improved my position. Uh, I could now ostensibly push this pawn, although the next turn, I mean, this is straight up 2D mate if I like let that rook go here, but I can pass, well, okay. So it's not immediately mate, but I can check first and then I can deliver mate. So maybe we push this pawn, and if takes, then we have forced mate. Um, but if doesn't, if doesn't takes, then uh, then we can push this pawn and sort of lock down the position, right? So that we don't have, so that this rook is free to like do something other than guard this one pawn. Um, something like that, maybe? I don't know. feels like a stretch, but... Um... We could do. Okay. Opens up this position. Honestly, here... I probably trade my knight for their bishop, no? I think I like having the bishop. Man, I, I should be able to... Like, if I was white right now, I'd be shitting myself due to the mates that this knight threatens that's defended by this rook. Yet somehow in the position, I can't actually come up with any fantastic ideas. <laughs> it is really frustrating. I think that knight check here is actually good. It forks the king and the rook. Um, and if takes, then it opens up the, and then I can check here. Wait, that's actually a great idea. Uh, why didn't I do that instead of what I did now? Right? Am I wrong? Also, if the knight moves out here, then if I do trade with the bishop, well, okay, recaptures with the knight as possible. But I like this idea especially um, with this pawn here, because uh, actually this isn't immediate 2D mate because um, my queen, ha my king has a flight square. So, I mean, it's dangerous, but if I do it as a response to, you know, in order to win the game, um, pushing that pawn does pretty much nothing. So I'm not too worried about that. It does prevent me from pushing my pawn here, but actually I don't want to push my pawn. Well, that's interesting. Whoa, but why? Okay, this is actually a good idea, yeah? 
Am I wrong? Am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. Am I right? But am I wrong? These are the questions that need answers, guys. No, 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 no. This is a great idea, right? <laughs> right? Uh, right? Yeah. And then um, I can check like this. Right? Uh, yeah. And then takes here and then that's mate, I think. Right? Right? <laughs> Please? Uh, am I right about that? If this knight blocks in time, then I have thrown away the game for no reason. Um, wait, that's actually better for me because now I deliver another check. Uh, hold on, where's this king? Here, not this turn, but next turn. Yeah, I, I win. If he doesn't take, I win. And if he takes, I win. So I think that means I win. Uh, I think. He'd have to like, yeah, in order for me to not be able to deliver a check. All right, we did it. Whew, okay, <laughs> we found it. Um, we did it, boys. Uh, all right, no matter what, I won next turn anyway, because after recapturing with this, he didn't have any move. Well, okay, he could have traveled with the bishop. Um, he did have a travel if he had taken the king, um, but it's all good. Uh, we won. Actually, if he had taken with the king, uh, we could have taken with the bishop with check and then come straight back to this square and it would have been mate. So never mind. Uh, we had we had a forced line there either way, actually. Uh, good stuff. GG's. Um, there was check anyway. Um, rook hd6. Oh, uh, we had rook hd6. We would have seen it if that had happened on the board. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Um, we got there. Okay. Fantastic. What a great game to start off. Oh my God. The E3 F4. What an absolute Chad. I mean, it's no E4. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but still it's, it takes a brave soul. Um, GG's. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm a little behind in chat.